You've come here at a time when relations between India and Australia have been strained because of the violence against Indian students. Do you believe the, the suggestions that Australians are, Australians are racist? Well, it's a very complicated question because there are certain people which, uh, certain killings which, which are racial uh, according to the research and stuff and there are certain things which are um, not. So the media should be very careful in not reporting everything as racial killing back in India or here. So if they take a responsibility and not dig out the past but to strengthen the future, that would be a great thing to do. When all those things were occurring, and well, recently as last week, did that make any impact on you? Did you at any time think, well, I'm not going to come now? Did, did it impact on you? No, I felt the urge even more to do that because of all the stuff. And I felt that it's going to be very important to do that. And, and what do you think that young Indian students, primarily, a lot of them are doing like, um, like nighttime jobs, working at takeaways, 7-Eleven, uh, etc. What do you think that they should do or how they should feel? First of all, uh, my condolences to people who have been killed in whatever form, whether for racial killing or whatever killing. And I would advise them to be careful and not work in, not walk around in places where it's a drug area or, you know, like alcoholics and stuff. Because that's the main reason for the killing. They don't see whether what race they are. They just want to kill because they are not in their own senses. And that's important. And, and be careful in what you do. Like, if, you, if you're responsible and you act responsibly, nothing will happen to you.